this chapter we are going to discuss threading. Uh, threading is a new concept to Visual Basic uh, .NET users and uh, what I like to do, I like to just show you the entire concept in a demonstration. The whole idea here is a thread is a unit of execution that CPU processes. So all application processes uh, con uh, contain uh, at least one thread. Threads are uh, scheduled by the operating system so uh, that's why you have to wait for one thread to be finished before you know you could do and run another thread. So the more threads you have uh, the faster your process will run. However you have to be careful about designing multiple threads. You don't really create threads for anything that you want to do because uh, after all you have to have some sort of a state management and make sure that your application really executes in the right time. So what I'd like to do I'd like to demonstrate this concept of thread manipulation uh, by CPU by just basically showing you a small little demonstration in here. So CPU basically gives you a time slice and based on a time slice uh, you know the thread can be executed. Uh, an example of a uh, thread uh, would be good while you're downloading something off of the internet. As you realize the progress bar moves while you can basically navigate or you could cancel you know the download process. So they're running on two different threads you don't have to wait for it. It gives you asynchronous communication and basically there would be no blocking. So what I'd like to do, I'd like to show you how to create thread. The threads are being inherited, uh, actually they're being used uh, by uh, system uh, threading thread class. We could basically create functions and associate uh, that particular thread to execute a particular function. You could also raise event when uh, the thread is finished. You could uh, stop it. You could put a thread on a sleep. You could do a lot of different things. In this uh, particular code, they're showing you how to create a thread. What I'd like to do, I'd like to show you the entire concept by going back here to my basically Windows uh, control. And what I'd like to do, this is test Apex demo. If you remember, that was a Windows control. I'm just going to save some time and use the same exact application in order to demonstrate this to you. So in this scenario, I'm just adding a button and part of this button, I'm setting some properties for it and I call it uh, call my subs, for example. Now in this scenario, if I double click on this button, I can go back to the code and I start writing some threaded application model. In this scenario, what I like to do, define a sub called, for example, one, and then define another sub called sub2. In the sub1, I call a message box called this is sub1 and then basically copy paste the same thing and name the sub to be sub2. And this way I have two different subs. Now within the button, as you realize, I just want to demonstrate that uh, originally you're using only one single thread within vb.net applications. So right now all I need to do is specify sub1 and sub2. So by executing this particular application uh, basically you're running sub1, you're waiting for the message box to be finished and then you're executing sub2. So let's go ahead and test this. As you see by launching this application you could see that uh, you have finished before sub2 gets called. So if I call my sub this is sub1, as you see, there is no other message boxes, and then this would be sub2. What I'd like to do, I'd like to demonstrate the threading model in here. So the first thing I have to do, I have to basically go and uh, create threads uh, by calling the system.threading.thread. So what I'd like to do, I'd like to say dem thread1 as new system threading the thread and as you see by opening up the uh, parentheses you can get an address of a particular sub procedure that you have. So what I like to do I like to create a new thread but I pass the address of sub1 to it. So that means this thread will execute sub1. I repeat the same thing and I call this thread2 and I pass sub2 address to it. So instead of calling sub1 and sub2 all I need to do now I need to basically go and call thread1 and start the thread and then call thread2 and start the thread for that. So please pay attention to this demo. By calling this and clicking on the button I'm launching both threads at the same time because they have their own time slices and since CPU has basically uh, you know divided the time slice for both threads they basically run almost 
uh, at the same time. So that's why we have the concept of multitasking in here. So now if I call misops, you get basically both message boxes at the same time because they're running under two different threads. So click OK and you can realize that basically right now there are two different threads are running and we could take advantage of multi-threaded application. So basically in this demonstration I showed you how to use thread, use thread carefully, use uh, thread uh, basically allows you to have your application to run faster however you are using more system resources. Sometimes threads are accessing the same data so you have to synchronize them as well. You have to basically lock the uh, specific resource because two threads might write and read from the same exact uh, resource. So in this demonstration I showed you how to use threads and by going through this topic we're pretty much done with this chapter.